When God has predestined someone for you, it is not necessarily he would call up a name or come down from heaven to show you who you're going to marry. As long as he places a desire that communicates love to someone, he will connect you to that spouse or partner. Most of the time, God will make you and that spouse come across each other, either in the house of God or anywhere he deems fit. For both of you to be divinely connected, it shows that at first there must be a deep connection between you and that spouse would ignite the love and emotion needed to bond together. God does things in mysterious ways. It is possible that have known your future partner a long time ago. It is also possible that you have not met the person before and are just getting to know each other. If that person is your God's designated partner, then it doesn't matter that time difference it takes to have to know one another. All that matters most is that you develop a deep friendship and a bond. The person understands you on, on a deeper level than others. They help celebrate your achievements and impact you positively in any area needed to grow and improve. This is why it's very important that you trust God and surrender all unto Him in prayers and studying of God's Word. He will surely lead you right and divinely connect you to that spouse or partner chosen for you. As long as you do the right thing and that spouse is a true born-again child of God, then there is absolutely nothing that can stop you from being joined together in marriage. One sign to show who God has prepared a spouse for you is when you both have a genuine and selfless love for each other. Since God wants you as an individual to love and live for Him, God wants His will to be done in a relationship or marriage. He wants the best for you as a child of God and He makes sure He leads you into making the right decisions concerning your relationship and your marriage. God has given us free will as children of God to choose who we have a genuine feeling of love and affection for. God allows us the grace to choose the perfect partner in line with his commands and instruction. If God was to choose a spouse for us, then there is no difference between us and a robot. And this is why we have been given the free will of God to freely choose who we desire to be in a relationship with. Even when we make the wrong decisions in a relationship, God spares our blushes and gives us the grace to turn things around. Since God has given you the free will to choose a spouse as long as the spouse is a child of God and he or she is ready to love and cherish you forever. When you have that genuine feeling of sincere love and affection, then you have nothing to worry about because God will bless such a union. This is why it's important to know that God does give his own free will on some conditions but does not impose it on you. You are also given the permissible will of God to choose and love whom you desire. God will only place that desire and the love displayed in your hearts towards that spouse because he approves of such a relationship and wants what is good for you. If that spouse is not the will of God, then do away with him or her before getting married. God will never force anyone into doing what he wants. At the end of it all, there is always going to be consequences for every one of your actions and decisions. Even when we make wrong decisions, God still loves us and continues to make a way of escape for us. Romans chapter 6 verse 2 says, We can't continue in sin and continue to pray for the grace to abide, God forbid. So don't make decisions thinking you can just go scot-free. Choose a partner that would help you fulfill God's divine purpose in your life and marriage. You must realize that that partner is someone who is deeply committed to you and he or she is a firm believer in God. One thing to take recognition of is that there are usually two ways God shows us our spouse. He either shows us a spouse through his will or God allows us to choose based on whom we like and attribute displayed by such spouse. Either God is still heavily involved in getting whom to marry and love either through his own will or through ours. One important sign God shows his children about whom to marry is through visions and dreams. You mustn't mistake it for infatuation. God has a unique way of speaking to his and every one of his children. The moment God wants to show you whom he has prepared for you in marriage, he would confirm it in one way or the other, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, that you should not doubt in your heart concerning such an individual must focus on God and lean on his promises. God could also confirm the spouse through prophecy. In one way or the other, there could be a prophecy given by one 
who has such a gift from God. It could also be through the servant of God. God could speak through the servant or minister of God to show you who your spouse would be. There are some instances God will not show you who to marry because he is still majorly working over your life. It simply means you're not ready for the institution of marriage and that you don't have what it takes to be in a relationship. When God shows you who to marry, then one way or the other, he will also confirm it in the heart of that spouse. God is not an author of confusion. If he shows you the spouse you are to marry, he will most definitely do the same by showing you to that intended spouse as well. He would also plant that love needed as a spouse to love and cherish one another. God will make sure you get someone who helps you grow in the things of the Spirit, someone who compliments you and helps you improve your inadequacies. This is why it's important when you have dreams and visions concerning a spouse, you should let the servant or minister of God be aware so that you can both confirm what message God is passing across. It's even possible that the spouse is someone with who you have had a personal degree of friendship. It should be noted that it is not until you receive four to five different signs before knowing what God is telling concerning that spouse. A simple confirmation from the Holy Spirit to you is enough to know what God has said concerning who is to be your spouse. In conclusion, knowing God's will concerning whom to marry is not only dependent on the spouse, but how prepared you are. The moment God is preparing someone for you, he is also working on your life and making sure every area that the touch of God in your life is straightened. As a child of God, knowing when God is talking and giving his instruction is very important. This can only be done in the place of prayer and studying of God's words. By waiting patiently on his promises, he will never fail you. You must have that strong faith and believe that God is your only source in getting that spouse that you truly love and desire. So it will do you a lot of good to hold on firmly to God in prayers and in his words. He has promised he will never fail us. All you need to do is to ask whatever you want in his name, including your choice of spouse. God will surely answer and do that which you have been asking according to his will. Don't cut corners or choose your spouse based on your human feelings. Rather, submit totally to the leading of God, and he will surely direct and prepare that wonderful partner for you. He has never failed before, and he would do what is right according to his purpose for your life.